Hey, this is Brian with worshiptutorials.com. I have a tutorial for the song, How Great Thou Art Today. This is a very simple arrangement of this song. I've been doing some hymns lately and taking hymns and really uh, simplifying them, making arrangements that are very approachable, easy to play, and that sound good in a modern worship context. I think many times uh, churches shy away from hymns because um, either the way that the church has played them for years and years and decades uh, has been different than what we the, what we want in sort of musically in a modern uh, contemporary context. And because a lot of times hymns, if you look at a hymnal, and you look at the hymn and you, you see it, you see like a million chord changes and they're all over the place and some of the chords are unfamiliar and not normal uh, chords to play in certain keys. And uh, we can shy away from them because of that, but I don't think that's a good reason to not do hymns. And hymns are very powerful. They have very rich history. They have been around for hundreds of years for a reason and people really connect with them. I'd like to, to come up and show you some simple ways to play some really classic hymns uh, in ways too that will fit well within a modern contemporary context. So, How Great Thou Art is gonna be key of A. I like to put my capo on the second fret and use key of G chords. And you can head over to worshiptutorials.com, there's a link below, a link right up here, and see our, our own arrangement of this song and it will be available on iTunes, Spotify, that kind of thing. And if we've just put this video out, you can still maybe get the chord charts and the multi-track for this for free. Uh, my, my plan with these songs is when I release one of these hymns, I'm gonna give away those resources for free for one week. So if you wanna jump on that when we put new ones out, be sure to subscribe here on YouTube because you'll see when the video is released. And also, uh, you can sign up for a mailing list at worshiptutorials.com because I'll always hit that mailing list uh, with those free resources when they're available. If you missed it, you can still get them. Uh, we feel like they're very uh, competitively priced um, for those resources. All right, so let's talk about this song. It is 4-4 four, four time. We're going to use the following chords. G, C, D, and E minor. Really simple, just four chords, the four basic chords in the key of C. Okay, for a strumming pattern, I like to use this. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. One, two, three, four. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Okay, in our arrangement, I just made the uh, the intro really simple, just G for two measures to C. One thing that a really simple intro like this allows you to do is what I'm doing right now, you can talk over it and not have to think too much about a change or a progression, uh, which is nice if you're trying to intro a song and you'd like to talk and play at the same time, just like this, okay? So I just play it once, just G to C, and then the verse, O oh Lord my God, G. When I in awesome C, wonder, consider all back to G. The world's is D, thy hands have made to G. I see the stars, G, and I hear the rolling's thunder, C. Thy power throughout, G, the universe D, display. So I'm going to sing that for you. It goes like this. Oh, Lord, my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe display. Now we're ready for the chorus. Then sings my soul, G, my Savior, C, God to thee, G. How great thou art, D. How great thou art, G. Do it again. Then sings my soul, G, my Savior, C, God to thee, G. How great thou art, D. How great thou art, G. And then the turnaround in between the first chorus and the second verse, just like the intro, G to C. So let's sing it. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings 
my soul, my Savior God to Thee. How great Thou art, how great Thou art. Keep playing the G and then go to the C. All right, now we're back to verse two, same as verse one. When I think that God is so not sparing. Okay, you do verse two, uh, chorus two, exactly the same way. After the second chorus, I like to do a, and this is what we put in the arrangement, a solo section. G, which is the same as the verse. To C, G, D, G. And on that G, you kind of drop out. And then verse three. When Christ shall come. Shouts of acclamation and take me home. So uh, I like to play that verse kind of soft. And that would be a good opportunity there too, because that's a verse that's very well known. Usually in these hymns, the first and last verse is the one that everyone knows. Uh, so that would be a great opportunity. You can stop playing and just let the room sing with you. That's always awesome when they do it. And hymns are a songs that people will do that too, because people know hymns. Um, and I think people really love and connect to them. So... I think they're worth doing in our churches. Okay? And then the last chorus. My soul, my Savior, God to thee. At the end, this is where I put a little tag at the end. How great thou art. How great thou art. That's an E minor. To C. How great thou art. To D. How great thou art. And I end just on the G. It's a really simple arrangement. No added, uh, no rewritten, you know, tag or chorus section that comes in. Uh, just the, the hymn sort of in its purest form. And I think they're a lot of fun to do in churches. And like I said, I think people really connect with them. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. Again, uh, you can head over to worshiptutorials.com. If this has just come out, you can get the chord charts and they come in multiple keys, multiple formats, and the multi-track, which comes in multiple keys as well. Absolutely free. Uh, if you're watching this a little bit after the fact, uh, which probably most of you will be, uh, you can get these um, for what we feel is a really great, a great price. And again, as we put out more hymns like this in the future, we'll be giving those things away for free just for about a week or so after we release them. So make sure to subscribe here on YouTube. Sign up for the mailing list so you can get uh, get up to date on that as well. See you next time. Bye.